everyone and welcome to my channel. If you've never seen me before, my name is Sarah. I am a pre-nursing student who is documenting her nursing journey here on YouTube. And today I'm going to be discussing how to create a study plan um, for the ATITs. So <laughs> you might have seen my videos last year from when I made um, review videos. Um, for today, I'm going to be discussing how I'm going to be studying for the T's moving forward because this year you get to see kind of everything in real time. Um, instead of me just like making videos after I took it, I'm going to be making videos like leading up to it. Um, so I've created my six week study plan with literally everything that I'm studying. I put it, um, in my blog. So it's down below in the description if you wanted to see it and like what I'm doing. Um, so the first thing that I would do when creating a study plan is figure out what you're going to be studying from. Um, this year I'm choosing to study from the ATIT study manual along with the Smart Edition Academy guide online. And if you wanted to look into the Smart Edition Academy online course, the link is down below. I am an affiliate of them. So if you choose to purchase the study packets, that helps me out, helps me buy my books for school. So consider that, um, doesn't cost anything extra for you, but it does help my channel. Um, so I will be studying, um, using those two materials and I do recommend that you choose at least two, um, the more generally the better if you have time to look over them. The reason why I wouldn't necessarily go with just one study material is, you know, say this book, for example, this is not the end all be all of the teas, even though it's created by ATI in my experience last year, this was more so good for people who already know the material. Um, last year, I wasn't able to take any nursing, like pre-nursing classes before I took the T's because I just didn't have the time. I found out I would be able to go back to school, you know, in September when I created my channel and I was applying in January. I didn't have time to register for classes, but I did know that I wanted to at least try to apply to nursing school and I had to take the T's. So last year I basically, taught myself everything and I used this book at the very very end like the last week before I took my test and I did fine like if you guys saw my um ATIT's vlog like the day that I took the test I got an 86 overall which isn't bad um I am looking to do better than I did last year so yeah um with that said I in the meantime have taken um anatomy one by the time I'm taking my T's, I would have taken pretty much all of anatomy too. So that covers like the science section. I did pretty well on the math section last year. So I'm not really worried about that, but English, I got a 75, which isn't bad. Um, so <laughs> I'm using this and Smart Edition Academy to study for English and I'm reviewing reading as well. Um, I'm also obviously gonna touch up on English. Uh, I'm also touching up on math and science as well, but I, I don't, I'm not really too worried about those. Um, so when creating a study plan, you want to figure out what your materials are, um, because it'll be a lot easier to break down, you know, <laughs> like what you're studying. Um, and then you want to figure out, I kind of worked backwards instead of saying, oh, I want to spend six weeks studying for my exam. I figured out how many hours per day would fit into my schedule or is realistic for me and then work backwards. So what I did was I said, okay, so I'm want to spend two to three hours per day studying. Realistically, I'm spending maybe two, but three on like, you know, a really rough day. And I literally went through the table of contents in my manual and I just wrote down, I literally just broke down what I'm doing per day. It's, whatever it would take me like two to three hours to do per day. And I arrived at six weeks. Um, I think last year I studied in five and last year was a little rough. Um, I, I, I studied pretty rigorously, like every day, three, four hours every day. It was, it was a lot. Um, this year I don't have that much time to spend studying because I'm working, I'm taking, 14 credits of classes this year. Last year I was just working and that was it. This year I'm also taking classes, so I don't have the time. <laughs> so I really, I think I needed to, I need to 
spread it out just a little bit, just so I it's realistic for me. So you want to do whatever is realistic for you. So yeah, so when I went through, I went through the table of contents literally, and I started with English because last year I did English last, and I ran out of time. And I also didn't really take it seriously. So when you're developing your study plan, um, what is helpful for a lot of people is to take some sort of benchmark or practice test to figure out where your opportunities for growth are and start there. So for me, mine is reading and English. So for the first week of my study plan, I, I'm doing English. That's what I'm doing first. Um, gives me the most time to adjust and fine tune, learn new things um, along the way. So overall, my score will hopefully be better because English was my lowest last year. So by starting with my weakest, if that gets stronger, I just have to improve everything else just like a little bit and I'll be in good shape. So um, that's what I'm doing. And I think that's a good approach just in general is just study your weaknesses and um, start there. If you don't know where to start, that's probably, it's probably a good place to start. Once you have your material and you know what you're studying from, and once you identified your um, weaker areas and you know to start there, at that point, it's creating like a little calendar for yourself. So then you say, okay, on this day, I'm studying X, Y, Z. I'm doing, you know, page, you know, 10 pages 10 to 21 on Monday I'm doing pages 22 through 30 on Tuesday etc um, and you just do corresponding you know things in whatever material you have for some people that looks like an app that means doing you know 15 practice problems every day researching your wrong answers um, I'm not really much of an app person, although I do have the ATITs app, which I'm using for practice questions. Um, so yeah, so once you have done those things, then it's time to really put pen to paper and write it down. Um, because if it could be in your head and that might work for some people, but for me, I need, I need it written down because it keeps me accountable with myself. Um, if I'm like, oh, you know, I'm going to study five days a week. And I say that, but it's not written down. Like I have to see it to be like, oh yeah, I remember when I said I'd study five days a week, like I actually have to do that. So having some sort of planner or calendar or even writing it down in note form like I did, like it looks like this, um, really helps you stay on track, know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. This way you can also give yourself a break, right? Like no one wants to study for eight hours a day and then, you know, feel burnt out. Um, Keeping everything on a schedule like this keeps you feel burnt out, helps you feel motivated to actually study, right? Because like, it's a little bit daunting, but um, doing it this way really helped me a lot last year. So I'm doing it again this year. I just tweaked it a little bit because it leads me to my next point is to add buffer days in your calendar. If you are expecting yourself to study five days per week, only schedule yourself like four <laughs> because there's gonna be a day I can guarantee you're gonna be tired you're gonna have a headache you're not gonna feel like studying giving yourself an extra day you know underneath what you already scheduled yourself you know so like if you want to study six days a week schedule yourself for five this way on that sixth day if you feel like studying yeah go for it you can be ahead of schedule that way also you know if your dog dies or something or I don't know, you lose power or like literally anything and you can't study, you, you're not stressed out. You don't have to fall behind. You have an extra day and it'll just help a lot. Or if you over scheduled yourself and you're like, oh, I really don't have time. I, I studied for three hours today, but I have to go to work or I, I studied six and I'm like literally dead tired. I need to go to sleep. You know, you can easily put it off without falling behind. So I included buffer days. Um, I intend to study seven days a week. So <laughs> I added two buffer days and I actually scheduled myself five. So maybe that, I don't know, hopefully that makes sense. Um, don't schedule yourself seven days a week and expect yourself to actually study all seven days. It's not gonna happen. Um, so just be realistic with yourself. Um, so with that said, um, the next part with creating a study plan after you have everything written down is to incorporate some sort of um, cumulative review before tests. So for me, that looks like taking practice tests and 
researching whatever answers I got wrong or guessed on this way. Again, it's kind of that concept of building on your weaknesses to get you ready for the test. So if you want to take a look at my study schedule that I made for myself or use it as a template for yourself, if you want to use this book to study along, um, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Um, however, this is just what works for me and my schedule. Your schedule may look completely different. So it's totally fine if you use eight weeks of study or four. Um, I generally wouldn't do under three um, because it is a lot of material and you know, unless you're like a genius or something, um, <laughs> it is, a uh, it's a lot to study. So, um, definitely, I would definitely go ahead and do that. If your school offers, um, like a prep class for the T's, I would definitely take advantage of that. I didn't do that last year and I think I, I should have, um, because I took it last year and I did okay. I did pretty well. I don't really think I need it this year, but it would have helped a lot last year just because I, probably needed a little bit more structure. So yeah, that was the video. Um, again, if you want to see uh, my study plan and what I will be following when I study the T's this year, which is super scary, um, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully everything goes okay. But um, I uploaded it as a PDF on my blog and the link is in the description. Yeah, thank you for everyone who has been following along with me on my journey and helping me feel less alone and encouraging me and supporting me because it really means a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to see my face again, consider subscribing and I will see you next time.